you, Senator Thank Blumenthal. You. Senator Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator, uh, Secretary Mayorkas, you told Senator Graham that you've released somewhere between 500,000 and 700,000 illegal aliens. You told me you don't know how many of those had COVID. You told me further you don't know how many of those were sexually assaulted by the human traffickers who brought them in. When you were talking with Chairman Durbin, you talked about catch and release. And Chairman Durbin asked you whether illegal immigrants who are released under catch and release and given a court date in the future, whether they show up. And you responded, quote, the great majority do, Mr. Chairman. Secretary Mayorkas, I believe that testimony is false. It is contrary to virtually every public reporting on the matter. For example, I'm looking at a July 27, 2021 story in Axios that describes just 13 percent of migrants had shown up after catch and release. You know you're under oath and subject to, to the penalty of perjury. Do you stand by your testimony to this committee that the great majority of illegal aliens released under catch and release show up voluntarily at court proceedings? Can I, can I give you the data that I have at my disposal? Sure. Senator, um, the uh, percentage of um, uh, non-citizens who have checked in, who have been compliant with the alternatives to detention or are within their reporting time frame? That, that's not the question. How many show up at the court is hearing? It's 55%. Uh, percent. Uh, you're giving stats that aren't answering the question. How many show up at the court hearing? The stat that from Axios showed 13%. You're claiming 13% is the great majority. Well, let me, let me uh, I'm pulling from the data that I have, uh, Senator, um, and uh, I will verify the accuracy of the data after my testimony today and report back to you. Because so if your testimony to the great majority show up for hearing is wrong and false testimony, you will com uh, correct it in writing. Let me ask you subsequently. Oh, if, um, no, let me, let me, let me. You won't correct it in writing? No, no, I most certainly will, but I need to say something, Senator. And that is that I take my oath. Fine, you take your oath seriously. seriously. My, my time is limited on that. Let me ask you another question. It's been reported the Biden administration is considering paying illegal immigrants who, whose families were separated $450,000 a piece. That would mean for a family of four, they would get $1.8 million. That's not my understanding. What is your understanding? My understanding, and it's drawn from news reports because this is not something that the Department of Homeland Security... You're the defendant in the lawsuits. Um, uh, is that it is um, that amount of money per family, but I may be mistaken. That, that, that is not what has been publicly reported. It is per person. Do you think it is a good idea to pay illegal immigrants four and a half times what we pay the family of a service member who's killed in combat? And if we pay millions of dollars to illegal immigrants, in your professional judgment, will we get more illegal immigration or less illegal immigration? Senator, let me, um, let me say this that I do not think a mother would travel to the United States in the hands of traffickers so that um, she can be separated from her seven-year-old daughter for a period of time, the duration of can, which she has... Can you no answer the question? Those were two, two, the, two yes and no questions. For the, I, do, I do not think that it would be a pull factor. I said, is it a good idea to pay them the money, and would you get more illegal immigration or less illegal immigration if you give millions of dollars to illegal immigrants? I cannot. Speak, more or less. I cannot speak to the advisability of settling the Federal Tort Claims Act in which I am not involved. But you have no view on whether Thank paying you, illegal Senator immigrants Cruz. millions of dollars creates more illegal immigration? Thank you, Senator Cruz. Well, can he answer the question? You, you asked that question two or three times. And he's refused and, to answer and, it two and or three And your times. time has expired. You've gone longer than so any other. So the Secretary other. of DHS has no idea whether no, paying no, illegal no, immigrants Senator, millions it, of dollars produces more illegal It has nothing to do with the substance of the question.